Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now, uh, for most of you guys know might you might know what Fortran is if you're wa especially watching this tutorial series. But for those of you guys who haven't heard about it or know about it, I'll, I'll just give you guys a small introduction. Fortran stands for Formula Translation. It is a compiled programming language invented in the late 1950s and that is being used till date. And this language was intense, intensively, sorry, extensively made for scientific applications and scientific calculations. Uh, if if you, whenever you go to uh, or if you go to a, uh, any scientist or uh, some hardcore researcher working in the fields of say atmospheric science or uh, astrophysics, astrophysical fluid flows, quantum mechanics, computation fluid mechanics, and you know several other branches, okay. Uh, they if they they will uh, definitely let you tell you guys that they'll be using Fortran, and uh, Fortran is also used in uh, high performance computing and, and also in supercomputers uh, because of its simple and easy to use process process. Uh, to be to be short, it's a very simple language and uh, it 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 uh, became kind of a precursor or a, a inspiration for other languages like C C plus plus and so so many other languages to you know come to existence now if you guys want to know a lot more about fortran you can just check in wikipedia about it and they have a good history about it and uh, i recommend you guys look at it okay now i'm using ubuntu ubuntu for my in my system and uh, i'll be all the videos will be working in ubuntu recorded and you know all the programs that will be in ubuntu but uh, if you guys are in uh, other operating systems like Mac and Mac and Windows, you might have to make a little correction. See, for those who are following in Linux and Mac, the the dis, it, uh, whatever we do, whatever I'm doing on here will be more or less the same, and there will be hardly any changes. For Windows, okay, the you may have to do a little more adjust, little more adjustment to you know compile and work with Fortran. Okay, uh, before uh, today in this video we'll uh, enough of the introduction. In this video we look at uh, installing Fortran. Now what you do is that uh, if you are in a window, if you are in Linux, open a terminal, open a terminal, and uh, in Ubuntu for Ubuntu users, what you have to do is type sudo apt. Make sure that the internet connection is on, and then type get sudo apt get install gfortran I click enter it will just ask you for a password enter it and uh, if gfortran is properly installed you will get a message like this and if it's not installed it will just show you a list of files that you have to download and install and it will automatically the installs the package manager and package manager ubuntu and other linux versions the linux operating systems they will automatically install uh, if you guys are using Mac, I think the procedure is more or less similar. Maybe you just have to change, uh, I mean, change these this in, uh, command slightly, or something of that sort. And for win for Windows users, I'll explain you guys in a minute how to, as to how to do how to do it. And now, if your Fortran compiler is installed properly, okay, what do you do to make sure it works fine, or to get an idea whether it's working fine? Type g Fortran, give a space, and then two minus uh, sign, signs and then type version and then click enter and if your installation is working fine you should get something like th you should get a message like this otherwise uh, the installation is little faulty and you have to do this from the start okay and then I mean uh, to run Fortran uh, we need a compiler and the compiler is actually a kind of a translator that uh, uh, converts your program Fortran code that we type into machine level code or machine language code that the computer will understand okay that simple as that is how simple it is uh, it's at least it's all simple the operation is a little big but that that doesn't fit that doesn't fit in our purpose as of now anyway and next what do we what we need is an editor an editor is a program that helps you uh, it's a software that helps you to you know type programs uh, if you guys are in Windows, you must have noticed the ba some simple editors like Notepad, Notepad++ and all, those are perfectly fine, but uh, there are other editors available. I prefer Genie, okay? There are other editors available, pick one of your choice. I prefer Genie. For those who guys who want to install 
genie go to you know ubuntu software center as if you guys are in ubuntu and uh, it'll it'll get come in a minute yeah and here type genie okay and then you should get something like this click more info yeah and uh, you should get a web page something like this now i already have installed genie so that's why it's giving a remove symbol here and it's mentioning that i've installed but those of you guys who haven't installed okay the page level show like this check take these i mean check box check tick these uh, optional add-ins and click the install button that will come over here and the reason why i use genie is because it's a very very lightweight interactive development environment an ide or an interactive development environment is uh, a program that helps you to write programming course and it's very easy for debugging and uh, for code filling and all and genie is very light because it just occupies around 2.7 mb in my computer hard disk it's very light and uh, this is the reason why i use genie this is actually a c++ program here in the thumbnail okay if you guys notice the color patterning color patterns are na very nice the tab the indentations the how uh, the separation of you know the uh, specific words variables and functions and all these are very nice and uh, all uh, genie is also easy to edit also edit and it supports multiple languages like c java php html perl python whatever you name it okay and once these two are installed you are good to go however to start with uh, we will not be using genie immediately uh, we will be using something called as code blocks now to install code blocks go to your software center again type code blocks okay and you should get something like this click more info now in this code block in this web page what in this page what you do is that check these options on and click the install button here since i already have it installed it doesn't it doesn't i don't have to reinstall it but if you guys want to follow click this click this but uh, check these options on and click the install button here and you know code blocks will automatically install and it it's good it will be very easy now why i use code blocks is that it it is very easy to follow and it's a nice learning and learning sort of tool especially if you, if you guys especially want to learn uh, c c++ and fortran code blocks is like a very easy pro uh, a very easy ide it which will help you to compile the code in 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 itself okay now this is regarding uh, wind regarding the installation in ubuntu and uh, I, i i suppose the similar installation procedures hold good for linux versions hopefully and for those of you guys uh, who are using windows i just give you guys a quick a little intro, quick little introduction now where is that yeah i wrote this a few times ago few days ago yeah for windows users what you need is that you need to install uh, a shell like environment called as sigwin or mingw what they provide is see in linux and linux and ubuntu so linux and mac you get a fancy little shell that interacts with the system it interacts with this uh, uh, your operating system but uh, but in windows the dash up the command terminal that you get may not have enough features to do that and it may not give a proper programming environment in that regard so to compensate that what you need is that you need uh, a, a, you need a software that provides you a shell and a shell and shell like environment okay and that is given by sigwin or min, min gw i prefer min, uh, for very very short applications i prefer min gw but if you going to go guys or to do a very big application and all i i prefer sigwin okay and then you have to, once the one any of these two are installed now g fortran has to be installed i'll just go to web go to google and type c y g v i n my preference is sigwin actually because okay what you guys do is that this is how the web page looks like on april 28th it might be slightly different when you guys watch it later go to the downloads yeah go to this install sigwin option here and then basing based on your windows operate windows version play get 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 this ex executable or this executable and with your internet on let the let the installation procedure follow and if you guys want to know how to install just type how to install 
sigwin on windows 7 or windows whichever it is and if you guys go to videos there are like pl- there are like a lot of people who really inst- who have given tutorials on how to install windows uh, sigwin in sigwin in windows like i thought to ma- i thought of making my own one my own version of it but uh, this this is very simple and easy to follow so go ahead with it i mean that mean i want to make my own version but many people already done it and they've done really good so i thought you know let's not you know uh, make one more one more and leave it so this is this is this is done and then after you guys install sigwin just like how we install gfortran sigwin will take care of it and sigwin has a manager package manager in which you can install gfortran and uh, that will be very easy to follow as well that is will be given in the videos you can hi, guys can have a look at it finally for the editor and code blocks what you type is type code blocks type code blocks and you sh- it should uh, in uh, google and it should lead you guys to uh, a web page like this and then by the way let's go to genie also genie.org okay okay code blocks web page uh, as on april 20th looks like this okay and uh, it's an open source cross platform c c free c c plus plus and fortran ide uh, okay once you get here go to this download section uh, this is exclusive for windows users and uh, in here there are three versions of it i prefer i mean you guys check the take in download this binary release because it's very easy to follow and based on the version of windows version of you know operating system you're using you have to pick any one of these if you guys are using windows okay i prefer this one i prefer this one this this one has only the editor without any compilers in build with this has a compiler in build and this compiler is based on mingw just like uh, what we what i mentioned over here okay and this has a little more features but this is not recommended i mean this is uh, not necessary at least for the beginners okay if you guys are proficient enough you can go for this this is good for similarly for linux versions uh, based on which point kind of version you use like debian or linux sorry debian or ubuntu you follow this for fedora you use one of these versions for uh, centos if i'm right you use one of these versions and for open suzy use one of these versions but these are for 32 bit linux systems if you are, if you have 64 bit linux systems use any one of these and for mac users you use this version over here what you have to do is just click this uh, the download option here and it'll automatically direct, di- uh, redirect you to a downloads folder in for in, in for source folder you can just download occur- you can just download the uh, well, download the file and you know go for the normal installation it will be very pretty simple and if you guys want to know how to install genie go to the genie website and go to this in this downloads part go to this releases and there and there uh, there are two windows binaries here uh, genie 1.24 with no setup and this with no gtk setup i prefer this one if you just click this you will it'll download you guys will be installing a downloading a small executable run the file and you guys will be ready to you guys are ready now with that being said if you guys are get if you guys have installed the compiler properly and uh, the editors properly we are good to go now that's all i have for uh, i have for you guys in this tutorial in the next tutorial we guys will see as to how to write our first program uh, first program and uh, from that on we'll guys move into making other uh, programs and s- programs and stuff okay thank you guys for watching see you guys next time